gar nicht. Uh. about the taste of your salad, think about what colours might go well with it. That way you'll make the simplest of salads instantly tempting. I'm going to be making my absolute fave, which is salmon parcels with ginger and spring onions. Barbecuing chicken is controversial and I'm constantly getting asked what the best method is. The trick is long, slow cooking. Today I'm going to show you how you can make more than one delicious meal out of an old family favourite, roast chicken. I'm also going to do some broccoli with toasted almonds and lemon. Today I'm going to show you how to make a proper bolognese sauce, which is so durable because the leftovers can be turned into a completely different dish. And there we are, family favourites, spaghetti bolognese. As a food writer, I always stress that great food comes from great ingredients. But can you get Christmas luxury on a budget? Now I've got 50 quid to spend, so let's go shopping. Gizzy is here now. Were you impressed, generally? I was really impressed, yeah. actually. I, I am a bit of a food snob, to be honest. And so going into the supermarkets and seeing what was available, actually the quality that was yeah. available for this sort of money was really amazing. Sure, sure. I had a juicer years ago, and to be honest, what a nightmare. Cleaning like about six different components and the bits of pulp getting wedged in them, they were an absolute nightmare. But I want you to notice, we've got the same things in, and you can actually see the colour difference in the juices. And Where this is disposed, this one's disposed oh, yeah, of all of the that. pulp, this one actually doesn't, so that's why it's got the bigger colour. Wow, of colour. that's so much nicer, and you've used it, it's the same ingredients? It's exactly the same ingredients, it's much smoother. This is probably the most drinkable, I'd say. Victoria Sponge is the queen of cakes. It's a great cake base and a brilliant one to start practicing with. Once you've nailed this one, cake making becomes a whole heap easier. Today I'm going to be making apple pie, which has to be one of the most classic British puddings. Gingerbread men have to be the most iconic biscuit and they're really easy to make as well. Now you can do either the classic gingerbread man or go for something a little bit more fun. There we go, a wacky array of gingerbread men. They might look good, but trust me, they taste even better. You're boiling lemons. I know. <laughs> it's not normal, darling. No, it, I know, it's a bit strange, but actually this makes a really fabulous puree. I'm gonna take them out now. Chop this in half, pick out the pips. You're just gonna get a real whack of lemon. Pop them in a food processor. Lovely. Wow, can you smell that? Yeah, it's it's oh I'm looking for it to be pureed, but I do want some chunks, because you want a bit of texture in there as well. I might give it a little burst of flavour as well. Cut you up into 